Okay, guys. What if I try this? Uh, I think this is cool, though. Because my track, I don't have like um, a lot of instruments, so the shakers actually you not know, making sense. Uh, hello what's up guys welcome to ama 82k before we get somewhere done don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel right so in this specific tutorial i am going to show you my mixing chain for shakers before i waste much of your time if you're looking for log drum for ableton live the links are in the description drum loops um what else um yeah drum loops <laughs> yeah the links are in the description i'm thinking what else is in the description but you can go and check right so allow me to play this project and then i'll dive deep into uh, explanation Everything here is too raw, guys. Like I said, yeah, this, yeah. this is what I have on the vocal, just uh, e this EQ auto tune and, yeah, yeah. and reverb. So it's something that I'm working on, but let me play it so that we'll do the class. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I like this part. all right guys so that's it for this project like i said i'm still working on it but um yeah let me um start with the shakers so when i want to mix shakers right uh, i like to start with the eq and then transient shaper and then this one but then i would love my shakers to be uh, you know a little bit balanced not to be so high in terms of you know high frequency like tsk, 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 or not to have you know much of low end when i'm listening to this one right i feel like um you see around this section i feel like if i you know uh take down some frequencies it can be a little bit lighter so hence i am reducing this right so you can hear like if i switch it off so it's like this if i do this right and also i can still hear that um somehow somehow here there are some harsh frequencies so um let me play and then yeah let me just wow did i just <laughs> seems like i just went on the right 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 but let me do this so yeah so we're trying to you know to reduce all these frequencies that are here yeah you hear can you hear right so i think um for these shakers yes it's fine this way but i'm going to make it a little bit um not to be too too narrow 
a little bit wider and I am going to leave it like this so right I think for the EQ I am done right and then this one that's where the magic it is right so for with the transient shaper basically I am just using the transient shaper you know to decide if I want my shakers to have more sustain or just you know to be uh, spiky and with some uh, transient so for example if we add sustain it will be like this we have this sh 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 too much and then if um, we add attack we hear more of this so if we reduce right a little bit and maybe a bit of attack it will result to this so by taking down um taking off some of the sustain so it's just like we're making our shakers to be lighter in a sense that they can um be able to sit well in the mix and not to you know to fight with other instruments you know so um I do check this so if I feel like these shakers they need more sustain so I'll just do something like this so in this case so uh, let me listen to these shakers and decide so I just want to do this a little bit of this yes I was gonna add the, uh, the attack but I don't think I, I want to add as I'm listening through my headphones i feel like something like this just you know to take down a bit of uh, sustain it is better and it's gonna allow my shakers to sit well in the mix then the last thing it is not really necessary but you have to put it if it is necessary even this i sometimes just get a shaker which is you know does not need anything or just put it there use it and don't add anything that's what i usually do right so i'm saying for this one so um as i'm listening to my headphones there is stereo already like i can hear that this you guys have a stereo but i am gonna try so let me try to do this wow i can hear if i made to select all this like what we have right now so i'm going to select all this and bypass so we would we like this now we like this so i don't know if you guys if you can hear because the idea is not about you know to overput things you know it's about just you know doing little things and those little things they matter so i'm listening now with the song i'm doing the final tweakings Wanna add more stereo? <laughs> okay, guys. What if I try this? Uh, I think this is cool, though. Because my track, I don't have like um, a lot of instruments, so the shakers actually you no know, making sense. I'm saying this project like I'm just noticing something because um these things you can't really hear them like um kicks and and uh, those kicks and claps and all that so because you can't really hear them so if I do this on the song it's gonna you know it's gonna be it's gonna you you're gonna feel like the song is a little bit empty so if i do this i'm actually you know hearing the continuation of the song so so yeah maybe we'll, i think it's fine i don't wanna mess around with the attack today today i'm not attacking <laughs> So 
Okay, guys, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. That's one of my favorite basic, basic um, mixing chain for shakers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want Zoom classes, you can grab my number. is in the description below. Text me on WhatsApp. We can organize one-on-one -on -one Zoom session with me, guys. Love you so much. See you next time.